Hey everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the Canvas feature, which is new to Excelsius SP3. Using the Canvas provides an easy way to sandbox and group your objects. It allows you to drag and drop things into your Canvas, move objects around, and is totally transparent to the end user. In my opinion, it is an advanced version of the grouping method. I totally recommend that Excelsius developers use a Canvas container instead of the group by method because it will make development and maintenance much easier in the long run. Let's show an example using a Canvas container. First, go to the container section and select a Canvas container. You can resize it to whatever size you want your objects in the group to be. And when you're done with that, let's drop a line chart <clears throat> and a drop down selector. Now let's add some dynamic visibility. And finally, I'll name my canvas container test. Okay, now if I wanted to change the location of my drop down menu and my line chart, all I would have to do is move the objects around inside the container. And that's all you need to know for the canvas container. Now, back to the group method. One of the most annoying things is when you want to move things around in the group, like what we just did inside the canvas container. Let me create something similar, but using the grouping method. So let's add my line chart. And then let's <coughs> add my selector. And then let's group these guys together. Add the same dynamic visibility. And name it test. Okay, so if I wanted to change the location of the objects, I can't really do it on the fly. As you can see, everything moves together. So in order to accomplish that, I would have to ungroup, move the objects around, and then regroup it again, set my dynamic visibility, and then I would have to, again, rename the group to whatever I had my group named before. <clears throat> This may not seem too tedious if you're dealing with only one group, but if you're dealing with five groups, for example, I would be much happier using the canvas container method. The only problem that I may see with using the canvas is that it may add to the memory footprint of the dashboard since the canvas is an object. I haven't reached the point where using many canvases have caused a major performance problem, but if anyone has, I would appreciate if you could post a comment of your experience. Well, that's all I have to talk about for canvases. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Excelsius related material.